Yeah, hi folks, this is Martin from the photoacademy.eu and in this video tutorial I will go on with the external editing and for this video I will show you how to process HDR from the Coral Aftershot Pro with the help of an external editor. And if you have seen the first video about the external editing, you already know what to do, and for you that have not seen this, go back and take a look on it, or I will help you with this little overview. You go into the File menu, there in the Preferences menu, and under the External Editor, you choose your editor that you like for your HDR processing. I will use the Photomatix Pro for this video and the file format, the color space. After that, we have to choose our images from the bracketing. I choose the first one and the last one with holding down the shift key so that I have all of them chosen. Then with the right click of one of them or the shortcut control and E, you can go into your external editor. Then Corel will process all the raw files into TIFF files so that Photomatix can use them for the HDR processing. Here are my standards for the pre-processing options. And we can go directly into Photomatix. I will pause the video during Photomatix is processing the images. Yeah, and after Photomatix is ready for all the HDR adjustments, I will use the preset. Here you can see all the adjustments of the sliders that I use. Maybe it's good for your image as well, so try these settings, otherwise you can choose whatever setting you want or whatever preset you have in your HDR editor. And this is okay for this video, so we can go into the saving of the image. After processing, sorry for that. So we can save the image and after we refresh the file folder, we have our HDR image, the TIFF file here, and we can keep going on with the Coral Aftershot Pro and treat this HDR image like we want to do with all our raw files or whatever file you will process in the Aftershot Pro. Yeah, you can see you can use even HDR by using Coral Aftershot Pro and an external editor and you can keep changing the style of the image by saving the TIFF file and going back into the RAW converter and treat your TIFF file here in the RAW converter with all the adjustments you want to have to the image. Yeah, this was it for me. Cobra Aftershot Pro with HDR. Hope that will help you for your next HDR images. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Goodbye.